All right, so uh, welcome back. Uh, if you guys are here, then you guys have watched the first part of the tutorial on how to basically hook everything up. And we're going to go ahead and do the next part of the tutorial, and that is how to set up the audio streams between two computers using only your local IP or LAN network. Um, it's a little complicated, but, but once you understand how to do it, it's not that bad. Um, we're going to go over the layout of the systems and I'm going to go show you a map of how I have my system set up and I'm going to break down the um, panel, the mixer panel for you so you understand or at least you can get a, a better idea of how it works and um, when you connect them together it makes more sense. So first part of the video I'm going to show you the layout, I'm going to break down the panel for you and then um, once the panels are broken down, I'm going to show you how to interconnect them and what they do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll the intro and uh, we'll get started. All right. See you guys soon. All right. So uh, here's the map of my layout. Um, all I have really for audio is the microphone, the Yeti, plugged into the gaming PC, and that's it. Um, it's kind of hard to see right now. I'll do it in the next part of the video, but we're going to refer to each column as H1 and the horizontal A123, B1, B2 as um, buses. And that's all you need to know for now. And we'll go ahead and go to the next part of the video, and I can explain a little bit better. All right, so let me explain the layout and the foundation that you need to understand for this to work very well and have a solid foundation. So the throughout the video, I'm going to refer to the vertical channels right here as H1 or Harbor 1 through 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then I'm going to refer to the horizontal ones, the A, 1, 2, 3, B1, and B2 as uh, horizontal buses. And I'll explain how they work and what they are in a second, but you just need to understand why I'm labeling them right now. If you go over to VBAN up here and you click that, this will pop up and you'll see that it is corresponding to incoming streams and outgoing streams. I'm going to label each level a slot. So in this case, slot one, two, three incoming, slot one, two, three outgoing. And you'll see why I do that in a second. It just makes it easier once you get everything organized. So for now, we're going to stay on the streaming PC and we're going to go over how I have it mapped. So streaming PC is very straightforward. Um, it's mainly listening. It's not really outputting much. So all you need to do is set your voice meter banana, which is the software we're using. All of the inputs so H1, H2, and H3, if you look at the map, all have A1 assigned to them. The reason being is um, it's going to output to a single channel on the hardware out right here. And I've assigned it to some blank cheapy DP, whatever, not cheapy DP, but just some blank uh, audio on my computer for output. Um, the reason doing to do that is so that the audio has some place to go. And... Once you do that, basically what that means is whatever the stream PC is listening for, in this case, it's a Yeti mic, a Discord, and a game audio from the gaming PC. When it receives it, it pumps it out to Realtek. Now, how does that apply to, let's say, your Discord or OBS? So for my Discord and OBS, if you have that, you would make a new audio source like this one right here, label it whatever you want. In this case, I have it labeled, as I said, just to make it easier to find. You would hit properties and you would look for the device that you assigned as a hardware out. In this case, I designed it or assigned it to Realtek Digital Output. Um, to do that, you would do sources, audio output capture, add a source, ignore this is already there. So make a new one, whatever you want to call it, add it and select Realtek or whatever you guys have it assigned to. Um, what, what you select basically is whatever you have assigned in hardware out for these three inputs. So that's how I'm actually sending my Yeti microphone, if you haven't noticed right now, is going up and down. So Yeti is actually not in my streaming computer, even though I'm on the streaming computer. It's on my um, 
gaming PC. So once you do that, it sends the audio from the gaming PC. The streaming PC is listening. It receives it, sends it to the real tech, and goes to your Discord. Uh, not Discord. goes to your uh, Streamlabs. And that's how you do it for all the audio. You can do the same thing for Discord. You can do the same thing for the game audio. And we'll do that on the other side once we finish up on this side. Um, the only thing you should realistically be outputting on the computer is the um, stream PC audio. Now, how I have it set up is this. Uh, hardwares 1 through 3, H1, 2, and 3, are incoming. They're receiving something in. Um, hardwares 4 and 5 are also receiving something in, but locally, as in it's on the computer itself. And they're assigned to their own buses. So they're not going to interfere with A1. So A1 is all pumping inward to Realtek, which is pumping to OBS. Right? Makes sense? Um, these two are pumping outward because they're not assigned to Realtek. So they're pumping to whatever buses I assign it to. In this case, it's B1 and B2. So what you need to understand for that is whatever buses you have assigned to the outgoing stream, in this case B1 and B2, if I were to turn on this one, it would take the Yeti input that's coming from wherever and clone it with the input from the game audio for B1 and send it out. You don't want that. You want an isolated bus channel for it. That's why I only have one selected for that and one selected for pretzel and whatever else you guys want to use for audio. So now let's go over to the VBAND, which is the IP setup. So you're going to want to find the local IP for your gaming PC and your um, stream PC. It's relatively straightforward. It shows it right at the top. This top one is your stream PC or whatever the local one is. And then on the other side is your gaming PC. Uh, in my case, my gaming PC is 192.168.1.244, and I'm putting those IP addresses in to listen for an incoming stream from that computer. So once you do that, whatever the gaming PC sends out, this will listen for it and then send it to hardware one, which is what this is for, direct or distribution. All right. And then same thing for Discord. It's listening from the gaming PC for a output from the gaming PC in slot 1, 2, and 3. In this case, this is slot 2. Um, and it's going to send it over to hardware 2. And game audio is the same thing. Send it to hardware 3 from slot 3. Now, now that we're done on the input side, let's go to the output. And this is what I mean by referring to these little levels as slots because they send audio according to that slot. So this is slot one on the streaming PC. If it was the gaming PC, it'd be slot one on the gaming PC, and it will send to slot one on the incoming stream for the streaming PC, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, right now, I only have slot one and two on the streaming PC occupied. Therefore, on the gaming PC, slot one and two on the incoming stream should be listening for those two channels. and that's pretty much it. Um, so right now, an additional side note for alerts and stuff like that for OBS. Um, I set the stream PC audio to the voice meter input, which is actually hardware 4 on this. So anytime uh, OBS or anything receives an alert, I'll do a test right now. receives an alert, hardware 4 will go active, it will send to bus 1, and gaming PC is listening right now for bus 1 slot 1 on the stream PC, and it will take the audio and pump it out to wherever I selected it on the gaming PC. You guys can't see right now because I haven't showed it to you, so we'll go over there right now to look at it. And um, so... That's essentially it for the streaming PC side. We're going to go over to the gaming PC side now. So on the gaming PC, same exact layout, just reversed in a sense. So 
you guys know how the panels work. So H1 in my case is, remember to name these things, including the direction, because it makes it so much easier to figure out. So in my case, hardware one has my Yeti mic, and it's on its own bus, A3, and it's going outward. So I know that I, that's the direction I want it to go. So in the bus or the V-band setup, um, it's the first one, it's on bus A3, which is isolated, so no other sounds are taking over A3. And it's going to the IP address for my stream PC, which is locally 192.168.1.242. And it's in slot one. So that's essentially how that's going to work. And then hardware um, two is actually set to an input. So stream PC in. So that's how I get my alerts. It's assigned to A1 right now which I have pumped out locally to my headphones on my Yeti so I can hear the alerts, music from the other PC, I can hear game out locally, and I can hear Discord out locally. Um, so if you're getting what I'm saying, if you don't, just leave a question and then I'll try to clarify it for you guys. Um, it, it starts to make sense once once you guys start playing with it and you get things working. Um, but for now, we're going to keep going through the columns and the, the, the layout for it. So yeah, again, hardware one is my Yeti out. It's assigned to bus A3. Um, stream PC in. Uh, it's just receiving the, the output from the stream PC, like I said before. And it's not going anywhere else on the buses except to my headphones, which I have assigned to my Yeti headphones, or the microphone, which pumps out to the headphones. Pretzel in is the same thing. It's just the music uh, streaming that, you know, uncopyrighted that I play. Um, if you go to the streaming PC, you can download Pretzel Rock, which is the program, and you can actually manually assign that to Hardware 5 on the stream PC. Um, and then it will output just like the desktop audio. It's kind of like an alert, but for music, uh, it will out output that to your LAN. Your sh gaming PC will listen for it. And then it will come in to your A1 bus, which is assigned to your Yeti mic or whatever you guys have for headphones. And so you can hear the music. If you don't want to listen, you turn it off. Simple as that. Um, now, game out is set the same way as the stream PC. It receives all audio output from um, the computer itself. So in my case, I have set the game audio to come out of voice meter input which is hardware 4 on the mixer channel right here so anything that the computer plays whether it's games Spotify YouTube will come out of hardware 4 which is H4 right here and um, or go into H4 on the mixer panel and will come out of bus a1 so I can hear locally and it will come out of bus B1 so it can stream to the stream PC and that will be picked up over there. Um, Discord has its own settings as well where you can manually assign it to a different slot. In my case, I put it to hardware 5 because it was available. Um, assign it to A1 so I can hear my friends chatting and put it to bus B2 so it can stream out to the stream PC. Now we'll go over to the V band now. And if you notice, it looks pretty much like the other V-Band on the stream PC, but reversed. So instead of having, uh, now you're having two incoming streams from for alerts in the stream PC audio and the music in my case. You might not even need this, this one right here, the pretzel music. Uh, and then it has three outgoing, just like the uh, stream PC has three incoming. Now remember, they're assigned to slots in the V-Band. So slot one is the Yeti mic, slot two is the Discord, slot three is the game audio. And basically, once you set up the IPs, you'll get a green light and everything is good to go. Um, now, I'm going to take this back to a dual window mode so you guys can see how everything kind of works together. I'm going to try to use my mouse to kind of put everything together. So... Once you have everything connected, everything's green, this is essentially how the system should function via the map. Um, 
the Yeti mic is coming into your gaming PC. It's going to Hardware 1 Bus 3, and then it's going to go over to Bus 3 to your output for the IP address. And then if you go over to the streaming PC, your streaming PC will be listening for that on the incoming streams from your IP address from the gaming PC. Come out and go to Hardware 1. You assign Hardware 1 to A1 bus, which outputs to Realtek, which will be your main source of audio for your um, OBS. Now, Discord works the same way. Um, it, the gaming PC is receiving the output for Discord. It's listening for that. It's going to send it to A1 so you can hear it locally, which is your headphones. And then B1 to stream out to the gaming PC. Um, so not B1, B2 to stream out to your gaming PC. Stream out the gaming PC. Go over to the incoming channel on slot 2 because it's coming out of slot 2 on outgoing on the gaming PC. And it's going to basically output to hardware 2 which is also sending to a1 bus on your um, stream pc so you can hear it through obs now the game audio same thing you're putting it on a1 bus locally on your gaming pc so you can hear it sending it to b1 in slot 3 and it's going to match up to slot 3 on your stream pc and go out to hardware 3 on bus a1 so you can hear it through OBS. Makes sense? And then the next part will be um, the incoming audio from your stream PC to your game PC. So if we go back to the stream PC now, your desktop out, which is a set to hardware 4, bus 1, slot one will send a signal to slot one listening on your gaming PC and it will assign it to hardware two which is your stream PC input and it will send it to A1 to your which is assigned to your whatever headphones in my case it's the Yeti so you can hear alerts from the streaming PC with minimal delay and then pretzel music is just an extra option you don't have to do this but if you do you would assign it to B2 on the bus and hardware 5 on the um, channel so you would go into settings it will allow you to pick the heart the audio out and you would assign it to voice meter aux so I'll give you a look at that so yeah you go to settings and voice meter aux which is channel 5 or hardware 5 um, once you do that you assign it to bus 2 slot 2 right here and then on the gaming PC side slot 2 is listening for slot 2 from the stream PC and it's gonna send it to hardware 3 inside the local gaming PC and you set it to a1 bus so that you can hear it through your headphones um, that's essentially how it is again it's a little complicated and everybody's setup is a little different so um, I hope you guys gained a little bit out of this. I'm sorry if it's not perfect, but if you have any questions, I'd love to help you guys out. This is what I'm here for. I actually get a lot of enjoyment from doing this. Um, and again, everybody's setup's a little different, but this is the minimalist, minimalistic setup possible without using much wires. I don't have a lot of space, so um, this is pretty much it for me. It works perfectly for my stream. There's really no delay. I can hear all my alerts. I can hear all my friends on Discord, and so can the OBS. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to message me. I'll be more than happy to work it out with you guys. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. And um, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have any questions, again, let me know. I will be back, and uh, I'll do a more advanced tutorial if I ever decide to upgrade to, like, a Go XLR or anything like that. Or if you guys have any questions, I'll try my best to go get one and try it for you. Um, until then, this is basically it. Thank you very much. Bye.